Hey, what's up? Andy here. Today I want to show you how to make classic vocal trance. This style was popular in the 90s, but it's recently had a revival with the new track from Calvin Harris and Ellie Golding. So we're going to be doing something in that vein, it won't be exactly the same obviously, um, but similar, similar vibe with that classic touch. Okay, let's get started. Unfortunately, I don't have Ellie Golding here, sadly, but uh, I found this vocal uh, on Splice, which I think is sort of similar in a way. Uh, it has a verse and a chorus, which is the bare minimum to make a track like this. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to the vocal. Every time you hold me Every time we kiss Words cease to exist Every day The same story I'm trying hard to say But words won't come my way How can I tell you You're everything You're everything You are the world to me How can I tell you you're everything You're everything You are the air that I breathe if So that's the vocal, it's in F minor, 130 BPM which is a little bit slower than the Calvin Harris track which is actually 143 which is pretty fast um, 138, 143, that kind of range is pretty good for this so we'll start off by adding Captain Chords Epic. We're going to figure out the chord progression that's going to go with the verse and then one that's going to go with the chorus. So that's the first thing we want to do before anything else. So we'll open up Captain Chords Epic. So F minor and piano will do for now. We'll change that. We'll use Captain Play and we'll just jam along with the vocals. Every time you hold me Every time you hold me Every time we Every time you hold me Every time we kiss Words cease to exist Every day The same story I'm trying hard to say That bit caught Every me, it changes Quickly there You hold me Every time we kiss Words cease to exist Every day the same story I'm trying hard to say But words won't come my way Alright, I think that sounds quite good. That wasn't too difficult to find something that harmonises the vocal well. I don't think my timing is very good, so I think what I'll do here is put the chords into the canvas manually. Yeah, we'll just add the first one and it's, I think it's two measures. So we'll just extend this out. Every time you and again for the second chord. And we'll just duplicate this, I think. Yeah. Every time change these using the magic buttons. Me. Every time we kiss. Words cease to exist Every day The same story I'm trying hard to say But words won't come Yep, yeah, so it's a little quick Every change and then back to the normal chord You hold me Every time we kiss Words cease to exist Every day, the same story 
I'm trying hard to say, but words won't come my way. All right, that's pretty good, and we can work on the chorus now. We'll just do the same thing, Captain Play, and we'll set the loop around the chorus section, and we'll have a jam, just like we did with the verse, to find the chords that work best for that section. How can I tell you you're everything? How can I tell you you're everything? You're everything. How can I tell you you're everything? You're everything. How can I tell? So I think that actually just using the same chord progression uh, as the as the verse works fine for the chorus. Um, yeah, I mean it's basic, isn't it? But if it works, it works. At the end of the day, it doesn't have to be complex to sound good. So yeah, just using that's why most pop songs and hit tracks are you know often just three chords or four chords. So add some complexity just to thicken the chords out a little bit. Uh, Let's go back to the verse, do the same. And I think we'll change the sound preset. Yeah, I like this one, String Machine. Works well for trance. Let's play this back, see how it sounds. Every time you hold me Every time we kiss Words cease to exist Every day the same story I'm trying hard to say But words won't come my way How can I tell you Everything you are the world to me. How can I tell you you're everything? You're everything. You are the air that I breathe. All right, I think that sounds pretty good. Um, didn't take long. Let's just rename this. Yeah, it didn't take too long at all to come up with something that works well. So I'm happy with that. All right, so let's move on. So next we want to add Captain Beat Epic and we're going to make a, a simple drum pattern um, using the 909 kit. Now, the 909 was predominantly the instrument used by producers back in the 90s to do drums for trance. The 909, sometimes the 808 as well. Obviously, there's other ones used as well, but they are the main ones, especially in the, the 909. So we'll use that kit and we'll just do a basic drum pattern. In fact, we'll use one of the presets uh, to get started just for quickness, helps the workflow, but we'll obviously change it, modify it a bit. So we'll use classic trance, it should work perfectly. Every time. Okay, we'll need to change some parts, so we'll remove this tom, we don't need that. 
and the claves. Take those out. Just want to simplify it a bit. Not sure about the double clap at the end. That's all right. But there's a double beat, so we'll just have that rather than a double clap. I think we'll remove. We'll try copying, I suppose. Now, one of the important things to make it all sound cohesive is to tune the drums. So we're going to tune to F minor as close as possible to F minor. So we'll start with the kick. We really want that down there on the F, so we're going to lower the pitch down until it hits F. Let's just reset this. There we go. That'll do for me. Clap's a bit more tricky to tune. It doesn't always need tune, to be honest, but it's worth trying. And we won't bother tuning the hats, although we'll bring them down to volume. feeling that ride symbol, so we'll just take that out. And we'll make sure the open hat's right in the centre rather than being panned, but the other ones are okay, the closed hat and tambourine and shaker, they can be spread out a little bit more, but I like to have the open hat right down the middle with the kick drum. Right, I think that sounds good. So let's see what, what else can we change here. I think it's just tweaking the volumes. I always tend to mix the percussion a bit too loud. So I'm always conscious about making sure they're not too loud and just bringing them down enough. I'm not happy with this clap, that's why I'm tr additioning some different ones. What I'm looking for is something that's got a nice long tail rather than the short 909 clap, which is fine, but I th I'd like to do it a little bit different than just using the complete 909 kit. So what I'm doing is I'm just flicking through these until I see one, or hear one rather, that's got a, a long tail on it and then we'll see if that works. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Just need to tweak it in terms of the length, the decay and stuff, just so it sounds right. It doesn't sound quite right there.
there. I think that's how long I want it. So it's like three sixteenths long. And I just need to change the pitch. to be exact we're just trying to get it roughly uh you know with the fundamental frequency being the strongest on f that's that's a key to what we're trying to do here when tuning the drums there we go okay that'll that'll do that's close enough And just balance it with the volume so it fits and gels with the rest of the drums. All right, I like that. I think that works quite nicely. It's a very simple drum loop, but we will add some decorative parts later. But I just want to get a fundamental drum loop in so that we can start building the rest of the track. So we'll drop the MIDI in and we'll just put it in place. Uh, it's going to start. It's going to start on. And then the bar 16, and we just copy and paste that across. Okay. I might as well join it together, makes it easier to edit. And because I'm going to edit this section here, I, I'm putting a copy of it to the to the right just so I can revert back to that at any time if I want. Just check, see how that sounds. How can I tell you? How can I tell you? Oh, that's a position. How can I tell you? You're everything. You're everything. You are the world to me. How can I tell you? I think that works quite well. The, the the they sound sort of in tune with the rest of the track, the chords and the vocal. So that's all working well. I'm happy with that. Okay, what's next? We need more instruments. We need more elements. So let's see what can we add. I think the the next thing is going to be the bass line, and pilot bass is going to be perfect for this because it has a style preset called offbeat, which is the style of bass line that I'm going to use. So we'll choose that and there won't be much tweaking needed on it. It's really just picking the right sound um, and just adjusting possibly the note length. How can I tell you? Sounds pretty good straight away. So we might want to addition some different sounds, I think, just to be sure we get the right one. I always like this techno bass. How can I tell you? You're everything. You're everything. You are the world to me. How can I tell? So um, just copy the MIDI in and just take a look at this. Um, let me increase the velocity a little bit on the notes, just so it kicks a little bit, well, not kicks, but plays a little bit harder.
So I'm just adjusting some of the levels to try and mix it as I go because that generally makes it easier when you get towards finishing the track it's already mixed so let's just listen to the full track that we've got so far Words cease to exist Every day The same story I'm trying hard to say But words won't come my way That sounds pretty good, but I think we don't want all these drums to come in so quickly. We just want the kick, which is down there on C1. And we'll just take out for like four bars, I think. Yeah, let's remove these. What I quite like to do with Captain Beat is to write the drum pattern in Captain Beat and then edit you know, for the arrangement within Logic. I find that works really well. Okay, I think we want to do something similar with the chords actually, and possibly have them coming in, having them stop when the, when the bass line comes in and then coming back in, and we can put a little decorative drum fill in this section at bar 25 as well. Trying hard to say but words won't come my way How can I tell you You're everything You're everything You are the world to me How can I tell you You're everything You're everything You are the Yeah, that's more interesting in terms of arrangement, uh, having that just the kick and the bass and the vocal playing and then the percussion and chords coming back in. So that works well. But I think what we need to do here is filter down um, the chords so before the vocal comes in. So we'll need to work on that and also the decorative part I was talking about. So let's um, let's add... pilot melody because at this point we want the melody to come in so we may as well get that down quickly a piano works great for classic trance if if you're struggling to find like a super saw or something like that or a plucky lead that sounds great give the piano a try so we'll start with the piano preset I think the stabby piano has that right sort of almost balearic piano sound which is perfect for classic trance. We'll use that and we'll just addition some of the different styles. So that's idea number nine. I quite like that, uh, but it's not perfect, but with some tweaking, um, it could sound really nice. So let's uh, try changing some of the settings. We can always revert back to the idea nine using the back and forward buttons if we change it and we don't like the result.
these all have potential, I'm just not quite sold on them. Let's try this one. I'm not so keen on that sort of triplet stutter. Let's turn that off. Which will actually make this, the notes all play on the same key, which is not what I'm looking for. Yeah, that could work for a different part of the song, but not for the main melody, I think. I don't think I'm going to get what I'm looking for for this one. Maybe for like a bridge section or something, that would be quite good. But for the main melody, I need something a bit more powerful. Let's try, let's see, Fly Away. I do like where this one's going, it's just not quite there. Let's try modifying it slightly. We can always revert back, as I said. Yeah, adding more notes definitely helps. So that's the density control. Right, I think we've got something there. It's maybe not completely finished, but it's definitely close, I would say. I think what we could maybe do is actually use some of the notes from the bass line to fill out the, the melody. So let's add, we need to layer it up as well. So the Roland JV1080 is a sampler based on a hardware unit that was available in the 90s and it has some lovely presets for piano. So let's try some of these. Sometimes it helps to just isolate the sound just so you can hear it on its own first and then play it back with the rest of the track. There's lots of presets in here. And this was a very popular unit. This and the JP8000 synthesizer, both from Roland, both really popular for classic trance back in the 90s. I think the piano strings one, with a bit more volume will be a nice layer. So as I said, I think we can use the bass notes to add a little bit of um, something extra to the melody, fill it out a little bit. Because often melodies were played on two octaves. If you think of someone playing the piano, playing a trance classic, they're usually using their 
the right hand for the top melody and then the left hand for the bass notes. I think that works quite well. Makes it a bit more interesting. So we'll copy that over to the other piano. And we'll move it up an octave as well. Let's have a listen back to all in context. I always like to do that just so I can regather the full picture rather than just hearing little sections over and over for too long. Every time you hold me, every time we kiss, words cease to exist. Every day, the same story. I'm trying hard to say But words won't come my way How can I tell you Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We've got all the main ingredients, really. So I've worked on the project for about two hours more. I didn't record all of it because it would just take um, a bit too long. Um, but what I will do is I will let you hear it all and I'll, let, I'll explain each part that I've changed and updated and added. So as you can see, there's a lot more going on. Um, it's still the same length overall, but I've added some effects down at the bottom here. and. Um, some decorative parts like fills from Captain Beat and arpeggio from Pilot Arpeggio at the start here. Um, I'll just solo that, I'll let you hear it. Every time you hold Every time we kiss just Using the cycles style, sort of an up and down arpeggio. Every it's very subtle. The same story. And it's got some automation to make it come up and boing and disappear again. And then a filter fade at the end so it disappears nicely to allow the next part to come in. So this part here, this little vocal reverse, what I've done is a common trick that you can use in pretty much any music, especially electronic music, um, is to put a big reverb on the start of the vocal and then um, reverse, bounce that down and then reverse it. So what I've done is I've put a reverb on just this section here, a huge reverb with a big long tail, I've exported that, chopped out one little section here and then reversed it. You can see here in Logic if you go to the file and in functions you can pr press reverse and that will reverse the bit of audio and this is what it sounds like when you do that. But words won't come my way. The creaks are really nice. How can I tell you? Lead into the first uh, line of the vocal. Every time you hold me, every time we kiss, 
Words cease to exist Every day The same story I'm trying hard to say But words won't come my way How can I tell? So you can see I've put in a drum fill in there just to introduce the, the next uh, part of the, the drums with the more percussion. So how I did that was I duplicated the Captain beat, I added a fill, and then just additioned loads of different fills until I found one I really liked, which was this one here. And then I just edited it slightly to remove some of the toms, and I think a clap I removed from MIDI once I'd exported it into the DAW. Um, very simple. And then I've just edited it slightly by changing the velocities. And I, as I say, I removed the clap. So it's just the kick and it's sort of like a triplet hat and then an open hat. I've also added a drum roll, well, snare roll, I should say, and a crash cymbal at the end. I just drew those in manually and then tuned the drum. Now you can see at the bottom here I've got some effects, so I've got a reverb kick, a reverse cymbal and a down sweep. And these all are just nice transitional sounds. So the reverb kick is exactly what it sounds like, it's a kick with reverb on it. The reverse cymbal is just a cymbal which has been reversed with some reverb on it. And the down sweep is just a sample, just a swooshing pitch down sound. Like that. Basically white noise which has been pitched believe but again I didn't make it it's just a sample but these are all nice little uh, decorative parts you can add in and also the vocal up the top I've copied that and pasted that into the next section so that it carries on I've added a high string so that gives us sort of eerie 90s dance music vibe um, and just adds a bit more uh, complexity to the chords that are already there and I've added another layer of um, the melody. I've not changed the melody at all. It's just exactly as it was earlier. Um, it just remains exactly the same, but with an extra layer just to thicken it out a little bit. So let's listen to this part. Listen to the full track again. Every time you hold me, every time we kiss, words cease to exist. Every day, the same story. I'm trying hard to say, but words won't come my way. That wraps up. Obviously I've done a little bit more on the mixing side of things, but 
fundamentally it's the same as what I showed you earlier. I've just layered up a little bit, tweaked the mix, added the little drum fills just to decorate it nicer. And it's by no means finished, um, but it's certainly uh, a good start to a track. I hope that was helpful and you'll use some of these techniques to give this style a try if you don't already make it. If you do, hopefully there's some tips that I've been able to share with you today which will help you develop your productions further. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.